And so let me present to you that instructor dashboard. How much cooler does this look? There are so many hidden features here um, that you guys as instructors are really going to love. And as I mentioned, we've completely redesigned this page. Um, we've done it to make it easier, quicker, and more efficient for you. And a couple of things to notice, uh, one thing to notice off the bat, and, and this really is, um, if you're an existing customer, you will have this set as the default for your instructors. This is not going to be the instructor dashboard. It's not going to be the default view for an instructor. All new customers that are coming in will get this as the default. However, if you want this, please let us know. Reach out to your AEs, put a ticket in. If you have a CSM, reach out to them and say, hey, we want this as the dashboard. We can do that in the click of a button. Uh, it's absolutely up to you, but we highly recommend it. And you'll also notice um, not only if we create this dashboard and we can make it as your default, we've also added in the navigation bar a My Dashboard. Now, if you're like me, um, on my other accounts, I do have uh, the instructor account and I also have an operations manager. You will automatically see this too. You may not see this. There is one caveat to this is you may not see this if you have got any custom work to your um onto your uh uh navigation bar. So for example, if you've asked us to add additional things to the navigation bar or we've had to make some modifications, um the you won't see that. Again, if you want that added, please let us know and we can definitely get that added for you. So as we're moving kind of on um what we can see is we've introduced this two new view. Um, and it is two panels, right? It's two panel dashboard um, and it's widget driven. Um, and today that we have four main widgets, um, we have a, a quick link, which is all of the icons here. We have uh, today's session. We have a week at a glance and we have a month at a glance. And Skillable is always looking to improve and we've already started the day, the process of planning and improving. So, well, the first thing we're going to do for future versions is we plan to add more widgets. Um, instantly, this new look and feel for an instructor is just fantastic um, because it's all in one place. It's everything I possibly need while I'm working in Skillable that I want to be able to do. And so let's look at the first one, right? We'll look at our uh, widgets, quick links widgets right here. And so you'll notice. Um, these are static icons. There is 11 altogether, but this is dependent on your permissions within your organization. So you may not see all 11. You may see all 11. Um, I don't have, for example, I know for sure that there's a subscription. We have an icon for subscription, but I have no subscriptions attached to my, um, my account here. And I reason I, I did that is so that I could kind of explain. You may see additional and you may see less. So these icons were used um, and, and developed so that you could get quick access and navigation to those pages. So I can quickly click on the My Class and, and we're impressed with this, adding this My Dashboard. So boom, I can go right back to My Dashboard. And what we hope to do in the future developments of this, so future releases, we're looking to bring a management aspect and so what this will do is it will really allow you to tailor this section a little bit more to you. Um, we look to do things like move and delete and select icons based on their available list. Moving on, let's talk about this is the heart of the dashboard. Um, in this section, so when we're looking here, in this section, we have everything you need for classes. It's all in one easy to use. Um, navigation area um, on the back end. We've not only taken this really great design aspect, we built in this automatic refresh function. And so what this means is the data and um, the contents that are within this widget will update every five minutes or so. There's a little bit of change in, in terms of the whole thing will refresh every hour. 
but the data within inside it will refresh every five minutes so that if a new session is added, you've been added to a new session or your session has been canceled, it will be reflected dynamically. But honestly, that's that piece is not even my favorite piece of my favorite widget. What we really liked about this was these action buttons we created. And now this to me is my the best feature that we could have possibly put in here. Um, as instructors, the last thing you want to be doing is searching a boring class page for a link that's going to redirect you to monitoring labs. So what happens when we click on these action pages is it's going to automatically pop up a, a new page that you can engage and you can function with and you can move around and just like you would if you were on the real page on side of the class. So all of them have your ability. This manage files, so being able to upload files and send them to your users right here is fantastic, right? I think this is a great feature that we don't always um, promote that often and not a lot of people are aware about it, but you can upload these files right here. Again, I think that's a really cool feature. You can look at the pre-class, again, always opening a new box as it's working. As I said, my favorite action I, uh, action tab is uh, the monitor labs. And I just love this because I know that a lot of people love to be able to help their students as they're learning. Um, and so I can now quickly get into monitoring labs to help them. And here's a little fun tip for you is this one does open, obviously it opens in the same in the same window. I sometimes like that, but I like for I like to do for this one is if you have a nice fancy mouse and you have a scroll button, if you tap on the scroll button, it opens it in a new window. And I like this just because sometimes I want to keep this open and I want to be able to maybe keep this and throw it on another screen. And maybe I don't want to keep having to go back to the dashboard and click it. So that is a, just a top tip that I find really helpful while I'm while I'm in here is, you know, uh, it's just to click it and it is right there. Moving further along, I love this graphic. Um, this is the, um, a little great addition and it's the, the graph that shows you um, where your students are in terms of completion of the learning course. And so you'll be able to see how far along your students are. Now, as you can see, my students today um, um, and one of them is my Joel. He has not even started anything today. And so I think that this is going to be a fan favorite. I think you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be able to see how many students have completed it and, and whereabouts. Um, many of you might know that we have previously hired uh, instructors. You know, like some of our guys are, are, are instructors. They're still instructors to this day. And one of the things that they told us are constantly being asked for is the key. Um, what's nice about the class training key is when you click on it, it is going to reveal the class training key. It's going to reveal it at the appropriate time. So, for example, it's not going to show you it before the class and it's not going to show you it when the class ends. You do have to click on it in order for it to reveal and you can use the little icon on the end which is a, a, a way to copy this feature to the user's dashboard, right? So I can copy it onto my, um, so I can quickly, you know, if I need to add this to something, put it in an email or whatever, I've quickly got this. And then you'll notice it will collapse automatically after about 10 seconds or so. And I like that just because if, in case you're on this page and you know, you're, you don't want everyone to know your key, it doesn't expose it to your students. So that's a really cool little feature that, you know, it just closes it back down. Plus, you know, we don't need to see that all of the time. And then the class page, right? Again, there's still some things that we need on a class page. There are things that you might want to visit now and again on the class page. There might be a reason you need to be on that class page. And you can quickly do that. You can either, again, do the copy and it's copy to my clipboard, or like I said, if you've got that fancy mouse, you can just simply click on your scroll uh, button and it's gonna literally take you to your uh, class page. Again, 
here are your action. These are your action buttons that we've already provided. Um, as an instructor, obviously, I want to be able to go in here. Maybe I want to launch the lab myself. I can. And I can also just kind of look at who is enrolled in my class. But that's a really neat way just to get quickly to your class page um, if you need that as well. Heading back to the dashboard, uh, we can see in here we have the enrollments. And this is nice because it's going to give you um, how many people are enrolled, how many people you have available to be enrolled. So you have obviously four out of five open spots available. And you can see, you know, how far am I along? Hopefully you all just caught that a second ago, but you should have seen my we'll do a spin. That's the update. That's how it's constantly keeping me up to date with everything I need to know. And then the last piece that I like about this uh, particular feature is that we have um, if, if you're an instructor, maybe you're doing two classes. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're an instructor and you're in an event and you have to be on multiple sessions because maybe you're just listed as a, you know, as a moderator for one. Now, instead of having you know two class pages open, we have this tab feature and this allows you to tab. Um, and all you're going to do is toggle between the two. So, for example, I'm running this class today, but I'm also running this class. And now maybe. Maybe this was a nicer one to look at because look, right, we can see 40% of my students have already um, gone in and completed. Again, when I click on that same monitor, look at that, I now can see two students in there and I can see them working away. And that is a really cool feature because see how quickly I'm able to get from one class to the next. So I could be doing something, helping one set of students, if I'm helping another. This is really great for events especially if you're in um you know you're running a session and you've got to be in others or anything like that it's just a really cool way it's really simple but it's super effective and it's going to keep you on track and that's just a really nice little feature that we added in there and one that i think would be you know as time goes on you'll really start to see the benefits as you go through more and more of those sessions the today's sessions obviously looks at two day. It's a day by day. The week at a glance, however, is looking at exactly that. It's going to look at the week um, and what you've got coming up in your entire week, right? It's a snapshot and it's a great way to keep an eye on what you've got coming up for that week and the commitments um, that you've signed up. For. I'm going to give you another little insight here. Uh, this date will be moved. It's going to be over here and it's going to be a little bit smaller. Um, it does dynamically change to whatever settings you have for your um, your dates. Uh, so if you're obviously in the UK, it would it should say 28, 8, 2022. Um, if you're in the US and you write the dates like this, it's going to look like this. But that will be that's also a feature that is coming and it is going to be moved over here. You can see we start our week off with a Sunday and then I can see what have I got committed for this week. You can see that I am out of office and that is my I can update it right there. I'm able to go in and edit or review where applicable. Um, and as you can see, it's really just a simple design and I like it because I can say I know what I've got going on this week. I can look at my block out times. I can look at the classes that I'm listed as the instructor on. And then I'm just able to, you know, go, OK, I can plan my day around this. I know I have a really busy day this week. I'm sure like most of you guys and I am like this all the time. My days are blocked up and it's nice to be able to just see, OK, what have I got going on this week and not just what have I got going on today like we used to have. We are going to now take a quick look at the month at a glance. And I really like this. So this is the second pin in our dashboard. And again, we are re redesigning and thinking of ideas. This obviously has nothing here. I'm sure down the line it probably will have something in here. But the month at a glance is really cool because you can look at the, the drop down will give you the next 12 months, right? You can go back one month, but you can look at the last 12 months and um, you can just simply pick the one you want. 
You can also toggle left and right if you need to. So if you just need to jump to the next month, you can quickly do that by, by uh, using the arrows here on the side. And when you look at the month calendar, you'll notice that um, this it, it's quite hard to see. So you may be able to see it better on your screen, but this blue box will remain consistent on the day. So it's today. But you'll notice as I move around, a green dynamic box is with me. And that's just so that as I'm hovering over it, I know which days I'm looking at. It's just a little help, helpful feature. Um, to be able to get in there and go, okay, well, I want to click this dip. You're probably wondering if this is the first time you've seen it, what on earth is this? What what, what do these buttons mean? What are these little icons? What's this uh, orange about? And so each session is represented by a green dot. So for example, if you're delivering three classes in one day, you will see three class, three little green dots. You can see today I'm delivering two classes, so I do have those two dots. Um, and what's really cool about this is you can actually click on the date and a little pop up will come out and that pop up will then tell me here are the two classes that you are delivering. And here's what you've got on again. Quick and easy, I can click on one of them and it is going to take me to that class page. So again, keeping me um, up to date, quick access to get to things just in case. I can look in the future and I can go, okay, I'm still doing this one class and here it is, here is my information. You might have noticed as well, right, an orange box and thinking, well, what are these orange boxes? Well, the orange boxes are out of office, right? So there are, those are my block out times. Don't have to be for out of office, but they are for block out times. So I can see this month, Hey, I've got a vacation coming up the 19th through the 21st of September. I really wish I did. I don't, but that's a way for you guys to do it. And again, I can quickly go in and create my own block out times right here. I can change them. I can create new ones. And if we create quickly created a new one, uh, day off, and I'm going to put myself to have a day off at the end of the month. Find it, so. Go back to my dashboard and right there, it's already updated my month at glance. This is really cool. You don't have to use it for block out if you don't want. Maybe you just need a little reminder for something, but we do have those block out dates. Um, block out dates are good if you are a contract instructor uh, because they allow they allow the pool to know uh, you're not available to actually teach at that time. Be sure that you kind of get in here and do some of these things like you add in your competencies. So if you are that in that instructor pool, you're putting your, hey, I can do this course, I can deliver this. If, you, if you're an instructor um, and you're in the pool, be sure to put your block in time so that you can see, you know, what have you got coming up and people can't book you. You can look at your training. So if you do have something that is going on, you can also look at your own training right there um, and you can look at your transcripts. And so as we look at this dashboard, as I talked about, our goal um, of this dashboard was to be make it really efficient for our instructors.